In our last movie, I showed you how easy it is to add page numbering to your document. But what if you're working in a rather large document like our Sky, Chase Sky Harbor Offering Memorandum and you are going to create sections or you want to create sections? For instance, if we come over to our Pages palette, you'll notice that our Offering Memorandum has Section 1 and then Page Numbers and then it goes all the way to page 9 on section 1 and then goes to section 2 until ultimately we have four sections in our document. Now if you weren't following along in the prior movie, what you can do is hit control and on your keyboard to create a new document. And uh, we are working in a 20 page document and we created numbering on our master pages which by the way, if you are wondering how you can get uh, like your first page to start on the left or right, all you have to do is simply enter in an odd or even number on, your, on the number of pages that you're going to have in your document. So if you wanted it to be on the left, you would insert a number like 47. If you wanted it to be on the right, you could just enter like 46, which would be even as opposed to odd. Each will have an effect on where your start page starts. So we're inside of our document. So let's say I have page one, I have page two. And page three, if I double click it, I want to turn into its own section. To do that, I'm going to make sure I have it highlighted. I'm going to come out to the flyout menu and choose numbering and section options. And that's going to bring up the new section dialog box. So here I could choose where I want this to start. So if I wanted to start this on page 47, I would type in 47 and click OK. And then we can see that our document goes from page 1, page 2 to page 47. I'm going to hit Control Z just to undo that. Now I'm going to click on the flyout menu, go back to our numbering options. So what I want to do just for this specific section perhaps it started at page one. So I'm going to select start at page numbering page one and click OK and when I do that I should get a little warning dialog box that just tells me that page one already exists in this document yada 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 we do that. We're going to click OK. So now we go from one to two to one again. So we can insert the page. This just tells us that we have another section and we can identify where this section marker is because up at the very top there will be a down black arrow at the very top. This just, and if we click on it, it'll bring back the numbering and section options. Now what if I start this at 47 like we did before? We go from 1 to 2 and then jump to 47 and then I go up to my layout menu and click go to page. Now this is something you might run into this issue if you don't know about it and that is let's say you want to go to page six and you click OK and you hit enter then you get this dialog box that says this page number doesn't exist if section numbering is on be sure to type the number using the correct number format including prefix or type a plus sign followed by the absolute page number so you can say to yourself right off of the bat, hey, I know this document has six pages in it because I'm sitting here accounting and there's six pages. But what InDesign is looking for is an absolute number if you want to go to that page. Because when it's indexing or searching and you type in six, it is actually looking for page six. And it's not going to find it because it, technically it doesn't exist. But realistically it does. So to find that absolute number, we would type in plus six to go to the actual page, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which would be page number 50, technically. And there it is. So again, we can edit that just by double clicking. Now, what if we want to go back to the first section? And page 1, of course, is always going to be a section no matter where you started out at. But we want to change the formatting to page 1 and 2 here. Just like our Sky Harbor, this has Roman numerals. So perhaps we want to use Roman numerals on page 1 and 2 of our spread. To do that, 
we can simply just click on the numbering and sections dialog box here and we're going to change these to Roman numerals so if I click on the style here then I get my Roman numerals I'm using the uppercase you could use lowercase if you want to and I can give the section a prefix and you may have noticed this if you switch back to the Sky Harbor offering memorandum that all of our sections start with uh, S E C one colon and then whatever section um, and that's just a preference you can choose to use that if you want to or not and I'm gonna select start at the page number so now in my document I've got Roman numeral number one and we can see that down here on the page Roman numeral number two and then I jump to my other section page 47 so a really quick easy way to apply Roman numeral formatting as well as creating sections in a multi-page document.